In the previous videos, we have learnt about various microorganisms and how they have good as well as bad effects. We have also discussed the structure of virus. We know that virus is made from nuclear material, DNA or RNA under protein coat around it. We have also learned that viruses are found in active state in host cells and become inactive or die outside it. In this video, we will learn about prions and virions which are similar to virus. Let's first learn about prions. The word prion is derived from proteinaceous infectious particle. Unlike microorganism, Prion is a non-living entity and a type of protein. It is a mutated form of surface protein of cell. It have neither DNA or RNA to transmit infection. Prions get transferred or transmitted from one organism to other through infected meat. After entering in the body, Prions trigger normal proteins in the brain to fold abnormally and create a clump and cause a brain disease called Creutzfeldt-Jakob. This disease shows early symptoms as memory problems, behavioral changes, poor coordination, and visual disturbances. Later dementia, involuntary movements, blindness, weakness, and coma can occur. Another brain disease caused by prion is Kuru. Kuru is found among people who practiced a form of cannibalism in which they ate the brains of dead people as part of a funeral ritual. Kuru causes brain and nervous system changes. Now let's learn about virions. When a virus is found inside the cell, it uses host cell material to form an outer coating. This coating is called capsid and made of protein. A virus can live both inside and outside the cell. When the complete virus particle, which includes DNA or RNA plus capsid, found outside the host cell, it is called virion. Similar to virus, virion also has the capability to invade tissues and cause diseases, 